What's up my loves? Welcome back to my channel. For those of you who are new here, welcome to my channel. My name is Lizelle and today's video is going to be a haul. I'm super excited for this because the things that I got I ordered through Shop and Box, which is an online shipping service that helps to get products to you that may not be available in your country. I have actually done a haul from them before. Notice this isn't sponsored. I just really, really like the service. So yeah, I did order all of this stuff through Shop and Box, which is why I was able to get some makeup goodies that you can't get here in Australia. So I'm super excited to show you guys what I got. Before we get into the haul though, if you do enjoy this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel so you don't miss a video I post. So like I did mention earlier, I ordered all of this stuff through Shop and Box, which as I said, is an online shipping service. So I was able to grab some things that I wanted from the US, particularly makeup. Well, actually this is all makeup. So yeah, makeup products, from the US that I can't readily get here in Australia. At least some of them I can, but I could never find them in stores. So I was like, you know what? We're just gonna do it. We're gonna get them from the US. And yeah, that's what I did. And can I just make a note that the awesome thing about Shop and Box is they have crazy fast shipping. I placed my order and I got it within three days from the US. I'm just gonna show you guys what I got. So this is actually quite heavy. I'm pretty sure this is about like two kilos, this box. So this is everything here. It came in this Sephora box, which I did not order anything from Sephora. So I'm just assuming that my boxer just put it in a Sephora box. But uh, yeah, this is what we're working with. So I'm going to show you guys what all of this is. First of all, I just got to show you guys my little greeting card. So my boxer that I had this time, I'm pretty sure you pronounce her name Joy, I think. And she just says, thanks Lizelle, it was great shopping for you. Hope you love everything. Usually I use my favorite boxer on Shop and Box. Her name is Peaches, she's awesome. But this time around, I kind of forgot to request her. So I ended up getting put with someone else. However, I'm totally pleased with everything that I got. So first of all, I'm just gonna show you this little pouch. All of these are samples that I received with these orders that I placed through the various online stores. So she got me a bunch of samples as well, which is cool. So this is just a little Estee Lauder. It's actually not that little. It's quite big actually. It's this Estee Lauder makeup pouch, which I think will come in very handy. You can never have too many makeup pouches, that's for sure. And inside I got these little stickers. I don't know like what these are for, but ooh, they're like leather guys. I, you probably can't even tell, but the finish of them, they're like leather stickers. She also gave me these candies. Airheads, I don't think I've, is this like gum? Somebody tell me what this is. Cause if it's gum, then I can't have it because of my braces. I also got the Estee Lauder Revitalizing Supreme Global Anti-Aging Cell Power Cream. I'm pretty sure this is like a sample size. Comes in a little pot. I love the smell of Estee Lauder creams. And I was also really surprised to get two Estee Lauder lipsticks. Like, hello, okay. So I'm pretty sure these are called their Pure Color Envy Sculpting Lipsticks. I think that's what they're called. This one is in the shade Insulin Plum number 450. That's actually really nice. That'll be really good for winter because we are coming up to the cooler months here in Australia. So I'm gonna be whipping out the vampy shades for sure. And the other shade that I was given is Intense Nude like that. That's my kind of thing. You guys know that I like my nudes. And this is totally a shade that I would wear as well. So I was really happy with that. So yeah, I was really surprised to receive Estee Lauder lipsticks. Like, okay. I also got an Estee Lauder lip liner. This one is in the shade Rose number four. Ooh, that's actually really smooth. Let me do a quick swatch of the lipsticks because I actually haven't tested them yet. Ooh, that lipstick's nice. Super creamy. <gasps> yes, that's so my shade. I love shades like that. I was also given this Josie Moran 100% Pure Argan Oil sample. I'm pretty sure I have like two of these in like previous sample thingies that I've gotten. I guess these would come in handy like when you're traveling and whatnot. And then since I placed an order with Stila Cosmetics, I'm assuming that's why I got this. This is the Stila Aqua Glow Serum Foundation sample set. So I've got Fair Light, Light Medium and Tam. And then I was super, super surprised to receive these. This is a little trio of Stila Stay All Day liquid lipsticks. So I was given Beso, which I already have, and I totally love this shade. I'm not sure how to pronounce this. It's B-A-C-C-A. -C -C -A. I'd say 
Bacha, Bacha, I don't know. Correct me if I'm wrong, guys. Like, I don't know. And then I also got Patina, which is a shade that I've always been super keen to try out, but I've never really gone around to buying it. The Stila Stay All Day Liquid Lipsticks are probably one of my fave formulas because they're not like matte liquid lipsticks. They're literally just like creamy liquid lipsticks and they just feel so comfortable on the skin. They last all day long. So I thought that was really cool that I was able to get a couple more shades. So now that all of those samples are out of the way, I'm gonna go ahead and haul the things that I actually bought. First off, I'm going to start off with Estee Lauder because I did, of course, like you all know, you all know I had to do this. This is the Estee Lauder highlighter in Heat Wave. Oh, I'm so glad that I finally have this. Like I was thinking that I wasn't going to be able to own this because it is very limited edition and I was like, I was worried guys. I was, I was worried that I wasn't going to get my hands on this, but my boxer pulled through and she was able to find one for me. So I'm so excited you guys. First of all, the packaging. Can we just take a minute? Like, okay. And this is it here. Oh my God. It looks even more beautiful in person than it has ever looked to me in pictures. Like it's just such a pretty highlighter and it's such like a me highlighter type of color like I really do gravitate towards these kind of highlighters that are very gold and shimmery and just this is everything I could want and more and I'm so excited to test this out I actually don't want to swatch like call me crazy but I don't want to swatch this just yet because I got to take a photo <laughs> Yes, guys, I have to take a picture of it before I swatch it. You guys who are extra like me, you know what I mean. So sorry, but I'm not going to swatch that just yet. Don't worry, I'll swatch everything else though. So the next bunch of products that I got were from Wet n Wild. Those of you who live in the US, Wet n Wild is super inexpensive and easily accessible for you guys. However, we don't have it over here. There are a couple of online makeup stores that do sell Wet n Wild, but their range of colors and products is very limited. So I figured why not just do an order through Shopping Box so I could have like full range of availability for what's on the actual Wet n Wild website. I stocked up guys, like I really, really stocked up on stuff because I actually really want to do a one brand tutorial for Wet n Wild. So I got a bunch of stuff. I'm just currently pulling them all out of the box because when I tell you I got a bunch of stuff, I got a bunch of stuff. So I decided to purchase everything that I would need to do a full face of makeup. And I had no problems with doing that because Wet n Wild makeup is super inexpensive. I feel like it's the equivalent of our Astralis, if that makes sense. So first of all, I got the Wet n Wild coverall Primer. I've heard a lot of good things about this and a lot of people use this so I'm pretty keen to test this out and see whether it is like worth the few dollars that it is because this is honestly all of this stuff like the most expensive thing I bought was probably like seven dollars so of course you know that I love doing first impressions especially on foundations I really do enjoy testing out a lot of foundations and trying them and giving you guys the lowdown on them so of course uh, I had to pick up the Photo Focus foundation. I did pick up three different shades because I wasn't exactly sure what shade I was going to be. So I figured since these are only $5.99 each, that's US dollars by the way, um, I figured that I would just pick up three shades and see how I go because I'm not exactly sure which one is going to be my shade. Even now, like they all look very similar. So I'm not sure which one I would be or whether I'd have to like mix a bunch of shades together. So I'm so excited to test this out because I've heard so many good reviews on this. So I just want to see whether this is a good foundation for its price. Cause I mean, it's six bucks for a foundation. That's crazy. I also decided to pick up the Photo Focus Concealer. I got mine in the shade Light Medium. And to be honest, like Low key, I wish I did get just shade light because I feel like this is not going to be like a brightening type of concealer that I typically gravitate towards, but that's okay. I feel like this is going to be fine for covering dark circles. So that's all good. And of course, I also got the Photo Focus Pressed Powder Compact. The shade that I picked up is 
warm, warm beige. So I'm pretty excited to try out this entire photo focus range because I've heard so many good things about them all. And I'm just so excited to find out whether makeup that's so inexpensive can be that good. Next up, I have the Wet n Wild Color Icon Bronzer with SPF 15. This one is in the shade Tickets to Brazil. I've heard a lot of good reviews on this as well. And then for blush, I have the Wet n Wild Color Icon Rose Rosé Champagne, yes, Rosé Champagne. And it's pretty much just like a shimmery apricot peachy shade, which is totally me in a blush. This next product is something that I've heard a lot of people saying great things about as well. This is their Mega Glow Contouring Palette. This one is in the shade Dolce de Leche. I believe there are two different kinds. I got the lighter out of the two, so I'm really excited to try this out. And then I did pick up the Coal Eyeliner, the Color Icon Coal Eyeliner in Baby's Got Black. And I did swatch this before in my hand and I was like, dang, that's pretty black. Like that's pretty intense. I also picked up their Color Icon Brow Pencil. Those of you guys who watch my channel regularly know that I'm not really down with brow pencils. Like they just don't work for me, but I figured that I would try this one out and see how it goes. So this one is in the shade brunettes do a better. And I also picked up one of their mascaras. This is the Mega Volume Mascara. I'm not really sure how good this is, but I read reviews on their website and everybody gave this one the best reviews. So that's pretty much why I picked up this one. And then I also picked up their Pro Line Felt Tip Eyeliner. This is actually a lot smaller than I thought it would be. Like I was like, what is this thing? And then I realized, oh, it's the eyeliner. Let me just get it out of the packet. So yeah, it's so small. I I don't know, I just didn't think it was gonna be this small. Ooh, that's actually really good. That's really black. Yes, I'm, I'm happy with that. Okay, so yeah, I got their eyeliner and then the last couple of products from Wet n Wild, I saved to last because I'm really excited for these guys. So I chose the Wet n Wild Eau Naturel eyeshadow palette in Nude Awakening. Oh my god, like these. Oh, one of these just fell out. You know, one of those sponge tip applicators that we used to use when we were kids. Yes, started from the bottom, now we're here. You've all seen that meme. But yeah, I love this like color combo that's going on and I'm so excited to film a look with this. Like, so excited. I actually haven't even swatched these yet. Ooh, that's actually really pigmented, okay. Dang, went wild. Ooh. That is actually not bad. I don't remember how exactly how much this palette was, but it was super inexpensive. So I mean, excited to do a tutorial with this, that's for sure. I also chose three of their Liquid Catsuit Matte Lipsticks. I'm so excited for these. I'm kind of like sad that I didn't get more. I don't know why, I was just being really picky at the time, but I kind of wish I did grab more shades. So the shades that I got were Goth Topic, Nudist Peach, and Give Me Mocha. So let me just give you guys swatches of these. I haven't even opened these yet, so... Ooh. Do they smell? No, they don't. I don't know about you guys, but I always expect liquid lipsticks to smell like cupcakes because a lot of brands do that. And <laughs> these don't smell like cupcakes. I am not complaining though, because so far the swatches look pretty good. Let me just show you guys. So here they are right here. Like, yes, give it to me. I'm especially loving the dark one, Goth Topic. Like, okay, girl, that is going to be my winter shade for sure. So those were the liquid lipsticks that I got. And the last thing that I picked up from Wet n Wild, almost lost my words just then because it's so beautiful and I have been on the hunt for this and I was finally able to get it from the Wet n Wild website. So this is their Mega Glow Highlighting Powder. This has been very popular on YouTube lately. I've seen a lot of people using this and it makes me sad that this brand isn't readily available for us here in Australia because it is super inexpensive. Like Wet n Wild, where you at? When are you coming to Australia? Let a girl know. So yeah, look at that there, like, okay. You guys see that? Yes. Let me swatch this. <gasps> oh. Okay. Oh, okay. Did you see that? Did you actually see that? There it is right there. See the light hit that? Oh my God. You guys know how excited I get about highlighters and this is no exception. Like, okay, I'm so excited to put this on my face. Oh. I'm so glad I was able to get my hands on this. Oh, I'm so excited about that. I'm so happy. 
Alrighty, so that is everything that I got from Wet n Wild. Yes, it was a handful of stuff, but I figured like, since I was placing this order, I may as well stock up on the things I wanted. So yeah, let me know if you guys are keen for me to do a full face, one brand tutorial with all those Wet n Wild products. The last bunch of products that I have to show you guys were all ordered from Steeler Cosmetics. So those of you who live in Australia, you all know that we cannot order directly from the Stila Cosmetics website. I actually was not aware of that until I went to go and place my order for these. And then I was like, hey, I actually can't get these here. So I did end up placing my order through Shop and Box, which made it so easy. So yeah, I ended up getting a bunch of the Magnificent Metals Glitter and Glow Liquid Eyeshadows. Oh my goodness, guys. Like if you love glitter like me, you need these in your life. You need at least one of these in your life. Like I'm telling you, girl, you need at least one because these are gonna blow your mind. I actually already filmed a video earlier today about these, all about these, okay, swatches and whatnot, and I did actually use one of them to create today's look. I picked up seven shades. I was so happy that I was able to get the shades that I wanted. So this is them here. Oh my gosh, I can barely even hold these up. Here they are. As you can see, these four are the like original colors and then these are the duochrome ones. Like, okay. Yeah, I'm so excited. I'm gonna quickly do swatches and I'll show you guys what I got. So here are swatches of all the shades that I picked up. So we've got Kitten Karma is first up. Look at that. So beautiful. Next shade we have is Bronzed Bell, which is actually what I'm wearing on my eyes today. And I honestly love this color. Like it's really doing something for me right now. I, I'm obsessed. Next up is Rose Gold Retro, which of course is a rose gold shade. Then we have Molten Midnight. Where is it? There it is, right in the middle. As you can see, it's pretty much just a black shade with silver glitters all throughout. It's honestly so pretty. And I'm just really keen to do like a really badass smoke eye with this like I feel like this will amp up a smoky eye a black smoky eye times 100 so I'm excited for that so next to that is sea siren which is of course a pinkish blue duo cream shade oh, I'm honestly I'm living for all of these colors in the very middle of the duo cream shades I've got into the blue which of course is a blue shade with purple tones to it and then the very last one is sunset cove which is pretty much just a pink with a gold shimmer throughout it and I'm honestly so excited for these. I'm so keen to film looks with them. So if you guys have any particular shades that you wanna see me base a look around, comment down below and let me know because I'm so excited. Like these are so beautiful. And I think you guys, we have come to the end of the haul. So this is all the internal packaging that I was given. So everything is nicely packaged and bubble wrapped. And there was not a single chance that anything could have broke or leaked anywhere or whatever because she packaged everything beautifully and I'm just really happy with how I received everything. I was low-key worried that my heat wave highlighter was going to perhaps be a little cracked, but there's not a single dent in that compact whatsoever. So I'm just really happy with the way everything is packaged. <laughs> Oh, I just hit myself in the face. <laughs> so that about concludes the haul today, guys. If you have used any of the products that I showed you guys throughout this haul, let me know all about it because I'm keen to hear your opinions. And I'm really excited to do that one brand makeup tutorial with all of the Wet n Wild products that I got. So keen. As always, if you did enjoy this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel so you guys don't miss a video I post. I also will leave everything that I hold listed down below so that you guys can perhaps see the exact shade names if you didn't catch anything. And down there in the description box, you can also find all of the links to my social media accounts. So if you guys wanna keep up with me on Twitter, Instagram, or Snappy, then you know where to find all of that stuff. So you guys, with that being said, I hope you're all having a fabulous week and I will catch you all in my next video. Stay glowy.